To make this even more fun for your visitors, use the pan of flour sprinkled with hot cocoa powder. You might want to make a mountain range on one side, maybe like this. Then, if you're doing this indoors, you might want to spread newspaper under the pan so cleanup is easier. Now, this represents a small area of the moon. All right. Now, we have a mountain range here, right here, but what's missing? Craters. Craters, you're right. Well, we're going to use these rocks to represent meteorites that bombarded the moon early on. And we're going to drop them into the pan of flour to make craters. Okay? Just hold it up above your head and just drop them. Don't throw them. Just drop them. Oops, mine missed. Let me try another one. There we go. Okay, everybody, drop your craters. Drop your meteorites. Wow, look at those craters. <laughs> Good job. Now, what we're going to do is, if you would bend down here, let's see what happens. If we, this is, okay, hold it right up above there. Now that's at full moon. Now bring it down to the side. And how much more detail can we see this way? A lot. Yeah. Let's try it once again, a little bit lower this time. There you go, like that. And to the side again. Wow, look at those craters.